Hello and welcome back to Divergent Reactions. Now today on the channel we've got another Falling in Reverse song and this is Alone. This is an older track by them. Now I've done a few Falling in Reverse on the channel before. I really like him. I love Ronnie Radke. I love everything he stands for in respect of as a musician and the stuff he sings about. And I've said it before, you know, you put personal differences aside. The guy's a lyrical genius. And I'm working through my watch list of videos that you guys have suggested. And this was one of them. There's another one on there, but this is one of them that I haven't reacted to yet. So I figured I'd do it, uh, especially since they've got the new material out, which I put the video out for the other day. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight stuck in with this and see what this is all about. I know he sings a lot about his own personal pain and the title alone. Kind of giving that away a little bit. So we'll see what this is all about. And I am bearing in mind this is an older track as well, so I know he's... I know his style has developed since. Oh, this is the end of everything that I've known. Oh, this is the end of everything that I've known. That's a sink. So come on. Right, before the some cuts all chorus kicks in. Um yeah, wow. I'm guessing I think this if I'm right, this video's what was it? Was it how long ago did it come out? 2013. Is that around the same time as just like you, or was it maybe just a bit before? But I feel like at this stage in his career, his style was Compared to what he's doing now, it feels a lot more like maybe it's because it's a slight not dated, but it feels a bit more like parody, like tongue in cheek, like a lot of the videos and a lot of the stuff um, that he talks about, like things like obviously the the whole bragging rights about the the Gucci and the or whatever he's on about the sneakers and the and he's talking about the you got the the Ferrari and all that kind of I think it was a Ferrari, wasn't it? And all that kind of stuff. Um, the materialistic side of it all and how he's got all this money and stuff like that. I feel like that's much more of a parody compared to what he's singing about now in respect to the same kind of, you know, stick the middle finger up to the world kind of thing. And part of that is probably a maturity thing, but also, you know, he's 10 years older now, but also it's kind of, it's just a different approach. And I think it's really interesting to see that evolve as time's gone on, how he's gotten from this stage you know, the first, the first part, like Escape the Fate and stuff, was obviously more of a, what you would call, I don't know if you'd call it traditional, but it's not amateur, but like a kind of like, obviously he was in his early stages of his career. And then he's kind of developed into this, this, this stage, um, which is kind of more of a joke. He's more of a joker, really. I see it in that kind of sense. He's still singing about serious things and serious emotions and the intensity, but it's definitely... He's definitely progressed a lot into a more, I suppose, a more intellectual approach, really, in some respects, and a mature approach to the situation. It's really interesting. I just think it's awesome. Okay, we're back to the rap. Right, something I want to point out. I think it's really interesting. I think I think I've I think I've noticed this before in some of his songs, or maybe maybe I haven't. But one of the things I love about Ronnie's style, from what I've heard, is he does like he's very good at creating a vocal line around the emotion. And what I mean by that is 
he does this thing where he'll like like the rap is the angry bit he's got his scream his metal screams in there where it's kind of more of like a less of a venting anger and more of a passionate kind of he uses he uses the screams and stuff as like a i say an innate what's the word instinctive kind of thing you know like that sort of animalistic element to human nature the impulsive anger and then the vulnerability that comes out when he does this and it's like a melody line to represent that whole i don't want to be alone you know i don't want everybody to leave me with words fall apart around me and this whole dilemma of the you know he's 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 bitter and anger at the world but then he's got this whole like incredibly like he's he's he gives off he's, he's not it gives off the vibe that he is a very intimate person in that respect and a very personal person or a better word but the the melody line gives that vulnerability and that's and it stands out more it stands out more having the having those dynamics represent those different emotions it really adds something to the music and this is one of the things i love about him when he does stuff like this and how he can how he can it makes that chorus line stand out even more as a melody as a vulnerable it makes it more vulnerable so this is why he's so good about singing about putting his emotion into song and i imagine he's the sort of person that doesn't think about it he doesn't go oh i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this i think he just does it why'd you switch your style up and then i don't matter man i've been in rap since i was shitting in pampers that's the kind of party i'm on about like that bit with the electronic voice that sounds like the um the throat vocalizer that one it's, it sounds like an electronic voice um uh, i feel like that is representing in the song context it's a slightly it's like a crazy inner voice that i'm on that on that jet and then onto the next girl and all that it feels like it's like an inner monologue of like a kind of like almost like a joker-esque cackle like a evil i'm not going to try and do it but like an evil laugh kind of thing um that's pretty cool i wasn't expecting that as, as like in, i mean uh, you know in terms of like the dynamics coming in there's like that little line of like where his mind's going next it's, oh, it's so good
Did I say this? I was nine years old or ten years old. This probably is obviously getting on for ten years old now, isn't it? Blimey. That's, a, that's right. Good. I, I was expecting that. I was expecting so much like dynamic and obviously it all comes together at the end. All the different anger and vulnerability and the crazy bit and the good another good one ronnie i like it um thank you for watching by the way everybody who's watching um there'll be some more videos coming up at this point to like and all that kind of stuff and watch and subscribe and stuff and all the rest of it and i'm gonna go and warm up because it's coming cold here but yeah thank you very much for watching